It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will EduTech. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at an introduction to what exponents are, or otherwise known, they are also called indices. I know that here in the Caribbean, uh, usually we refer to uh, exponents as indices. However, in North America, uh, our North American students and also our European students refer to, the, to this topic as exponents. All right. Now, with that said, here it states, a number written in the form A, a base A, raised to a power of m is said to be in index form okay so let's just look at what this fancy definition is saying my friends now really they're saying that a is the base and if you notice we have a big a here and i'm just going to rewrite it here let's say i have a big a there and a is my base and a is raised to the power of m and i'm just going to put my m up there okay to suggest that that that's my power now as I've stated initially that the A here is called the base. So let's just make a note of that. And if you notice it's at the bottom, that's an easy way to remember. So that's the base and the M can be called number one. We can call the M the index. Okay. So just in case you may be at school and your teacher is speaking about index or she may be, she may, she may refer to it as, or he may refer to it as the power. Okay. Or another name to refer to it as is the exponent. Okay, my friends. So we can also call the M can also be called the X exponent. Okay. Exponent. So when working with indices, all right, uh, the big number here at the bottom is called the base and the small number up top can be called either of three names it can be called the index, the power or the exponent. Now, really, let's look at the whole concept of as to what this is saying. Now, when working with indices, what the power is saying, it's it's really telling us how many times the base is representing itself. OK, and it's usually under uh, the operation of multiplication. OK, so let's just look at some quick uh, examples to get the general idea idea out so let's say in example number one let's say we have a two raised to a power of three now if you notice i have a base two and base two and let me just change the color there base two is raised to a power of three now really what this is saying my friends is that simply two is multiplying itself three times so we are saying two times two times two okay so that's really what it is saying okay now let's just look at another example just to bring out the whole idea a lot clearer in example number two this also works for decimals okay let's say i had a 0 0.4545 and that is raised to the power of two or another way of saying this we can say 0 0.45 all squared now this is equal to and simply again, my friends, what this is saying, since 0 0.45 is the base in this case, and it's raised to the power of 2, all I'm simply saying, I'm multiplying 0 0.45 by itself two times, okay? So that's 0 0.45 multiplied by another 0 0.45, okay? That's simply what it's saying. Uh, when working with indices, the base tells us, the power rather, tells us how many times the base is multiplying itself. We could look at another few quick examples uh, because this also works for letters, okay? I, I don't want you to get the general idea that this only works for numbers. So let's look at a letter. Let's say we had a letter P raised to the fifth power, okay? So what this is saying, P is multiplying itself five times. So we can have a P times P times P times P times p okay and if you notice we have one two three four five p's multiplying itself also my friends this is also true for fractions okay so let's quickly split the screen now let's say my friends in example four i have one third one upon three raised to the fourth power okay and let's just raise that to the fourth power, okay? Now, what this is simply saying, my friends, this is really saying I want the one in my numerator is multiplying itself four times and the three in my denominator is also multiplying itself four times, okay? That's basically what it is saying. So up top, I would have a one times one times one times one. Okay, if you notice, I have four ones. And down bottom, I would have 
three times three times three times three okay now if you should look carefully guys if you should look carefully you would have realized then that here i have one third here okay and let's just group them i have a third there multiplying another third there okay multiplying another third there multiplying another third there so if you should notice carefully i would have one two three, four sets of one thirds multiplying itself. Okay. So really, and if you should make a quick connection, you would have realized that initially I had one third raised to the fourth power. Okay. So that's simply what it is saying. In this case, the fraction one third is a, is the base. Hence, we have one third multiplying itself four times. All right. Let's look at the final example. And in, in the fifth example, example number five, it also works for fractions. I could have a upon y uh, all squared. Okay, this is all squared. And what this is simply saying, this is just saying, my friends, I have an a in my numerator multiplying another a because my numerator would be raised to the second power. And also my denominator would also be raised to the second power. So I would have y times y. Okay, and if you should make a comparison with example number four you would see we have the same thing wherein as we have a upon y here multiplying another a upon y there okay hence we have two a upon y's multiplying itself okay now before i go a very important note to make and let's just let's just put it here north let me just put an asterisk there and a very important note to make my friends is that whenever working with indices all right and let's say, for example, you, you saw a number standing by itself. Let's say the number four, okay, standing by itself. And you may be wondering what power should four be raised to? Well, uh, because all you have to do is to look at how many fours are you seeing? Well, by intuition, you would be seeing one four, okay? So four can be also written as, and let me just move that, four can also be written as 4 to the 1, okay? So that's another important note to make. Or even if it's a letter we are working with, okay? Let's say it's a variable. Let's say it's a variable P, okay? Let's say it's a variable P. And you may be wondering, this is P to the what power? You just look at the P, how many P's you see? We have one P here. So this is the same as saying P to the one, okay? Hope that was useful. See you in the next video where we'll be looking at the first rule to indices and that has to do with the rule of multiplication. Bye-bye.